Hi guys, this is Patrick speaking from fmslovakia.com and welcome to another tutorial of how to add graphics into Football Manager. Now we will focus uh, to the basics and uh, the basics are how to make a config file. M many people ask me how do I make config files, how they can uh, load an image into football manager uh, it's really easy it's not a hard thing you only have to know the basics so let's start as you can see i have my football manager uh, opened 2020 edition uh, where I actually now in my campaign manage the club from the Czech Republic, Pani Gostrava. As you can see, I use a skin uh, which was made from, from my Czech friend FM Renzi or Casey Renzi as you may know him. Visit him, I will link to his forum or to his site in the, uh, in the description give him a look on his page he's really skillful he's a great tactic man he make also lower league management journeys so uh, take a look and you probably find something very useful to your game okay but back to the point uh, now we want to uh, explain how we add kits to football manager what do you need? <laughs> of course, you need a kit you made or downloaded. It had to be a PNG file and at least 220 pixels wide and high. And then you have to make a config file. I uh, thought that I will do a config file from uh, uh, the recent pack I made or for the recent pack I made it's for Argentina for uh, for the uh, highest league for the Premier Division or Prime Division as they call it and I have stored it already uh, at my USB stick uh, in my working folder as you can see Argentina Primera División and here are all the kits only what's missing is a config file for it that it can be loaded in the into football manager okay and how i do it uh, you need a simple software it's called uh, fmxml it's an utility or tool for football manager graphics that makes config files uh, you can download it from our site you go to add-ons fm tools fm xml there are two buttons for dropbox it's a direct down download or for media file where you'll be uh, re um, redirected to media file and you can download it from there here's a useful uh, guide how to install it and how you can use also the uh, utility or tool itself and I have a video tutorial uh, from our friends from Sotitc uh, or Swiss as we call them uh, who made also a tutorial how to use FMXML just watch it give them and give them and subscribe also to my channel that you are aware of any other new videos we made and now we go on when you download it uh, store it in your PC unpack or unzip the file you download it there will be an exe file fm xml exe file uh, just that we double click install it and you can run it okay and how it will looks like I have my fm xml here when you open it this uh, uh, a this window will pop up and now you see the basic uh, skills or basic things that uh, FMXML can do 
First of all, you need to set the path to your destination folder where you have stored your uh, your kids, logos, faces or anything you have made for Football Manager. Okay, I hit browser. Uh, as you already saw, it, I have it on my USB stick in FC12 2019-20 Argentina Kids Primera División and I hit OK. The destination pad is set and now we say FMXL, FMXML what we want to do we want to make a new config file for kids faces competition logos club logos nation logos it depends you just had to click kids and all file IDs then hit go and he made an fnmixml file but that's not all you need to do now you can close it and go to your destination folder there you will see a new config file as you can see I use for config files uh, um, software it's called notepad++ uh, you can normally open it in uh, notepad uh, that's in windows but i prefer notepad++ because it's a bit a, a little bit better than the normal notepad and uh, you will see that uh, when it's uh, getting to coding because uh, it's a code a HTML code ATML, ATML code uh, you see um it separated in with a nice structure with uh with color changing to any related uh, uh commands and so okay now open the config file and as you can see in the config file it's already something written this first part is is preset and you don't have to change it all you can change it is up from here till again list this is the generated command uh, from fmxml for your uh, structure in your folder that means he made uh, lines which command FM, FM uh, to load graphics into his interface so I always change this one uh, when I make a config file I write it but now you, I want to explain the basics that you know how to make it fast uh, normally I write here created by Patres 10 from FM Slovakia com it's only an info when you uh, <coughs> when you see it's such something like this it's only an info about the config file isn't it has nothing to do with uh, actually coding it's an only an info as you can see all lines are almost the same and uh, every line says record from and here's a name name of your picture as you can see Aldo CV1 is Aldo CV1 this one then two two Argentinos one Argentinos two Arsenal one Arsenal two Arsenal three Atletico every picture has its own row and then uh, follows the command for FM uh, the command says record from that load the picture Aldo CV1 and where to load it to graphics pictures team this zero is the ID unique ID of the club which we will change and the picture should be shown as a 
kit and as a home kit. As you can probably already noticed, we have to change the ID of the club and then the destination if it should be a home kit, a way kit or a third kit. And how do we do it? Normally, we open the editor, FM Football 2020 editor. It's the easiest and fastest way how to find uh, e um, IDs for the clubs or for anything else. You go to competitions, add condition, nation, as we are looking for Argentina, I write the Argentina and hit OK. Now I have to search for the Primera, Argentine Premier Division. It's this one. With double click I open it, go to teams and now I see all the teams that are in uh, Argentina Primera División with the unique IDs, as you can see. As my file structure is sorted according, is sorted alphabetically, I click sort name, I, I click on the short name and it uh, will sort it alphabetically. And now I can go back to my config file. I will make it a little bit smaller that we can see it. I have the first one, Alva Dossi 1. So I have to change this part. That means I have to ch uh, I have to set the ID of the club as Alva Dossi have the unique ID 1085510. I write directly here 108510. The first one should be long load as a home kit. That's all right. Now I go to the second row. Alvadosi 2. Again, two graphic pictures teams. 10, 8, 5, 1, no, 0. Kids, but this time I change this to a, a way kit. I like to have my uh, clubs separated with a blank row, so I hit enter and go to the second one. Now I see Argentinos. Argentinos number one have the ID 78. The away kit it's also 78 and hit away. We name it to away. Then Arsenal. Arsenal have the ID 10, 2, 4, 7, 6. 10, 2, 4, 7, 6. Once again, 10, 2, 4, 7, 6. This is the away kit. And this is the third kit. And so you continue the whole week and then uh, you will make a config file for the whole week. You can also do it for one kit or uh, for one picture, but I have to do it for the whole league. So we will skip and see us at the end. Okay, as you can see, I'm finished. I have changed all the lines according to the unique IDs from FMXM, FM, FMXML or FM uh, 2020. Um, all lines have or rows have been corrected. Uh, all clubs have the, now their own IDs. Uh, each kit is related to a specific kit in the file. So now I have to save it. I can close this one, go back to the folder of my Primera División. As you can see the config file is all there, when I open it it's already corrected, I can close it. Now I have to go back. Now I copy the folder and go to Documents, Sports Interactive, 
football manager graphics and now you have to put it here I store all my kits in the folder for kits uh, I have a folder for this season uh, and also separate it into nation and clubs you don't have to do this but I prefer to have it sorted so as this one are clubs I go to the clubs uh, make a folder here for Argentina hit enter and paste the pack here now I have my kit also with the config file uh, in the documents graphics folder for football manager and what I have to do now I have to load it in FM so I go back to FM 20 uh, you see and uh, my profile or my uh, my uh, club's info screen for uh, Bani Gostrava I go to Argentina go to Argentina Prime Division as you can see I'm already in the uh, year 24 so I have to go back a little bit uh, Jeez, yes, the season for 2020-2021. It's also a uh, year later, but uh, we need only to see this one. I go to FM preferences, uh, and I have to reload the skin. But first of all, you have to check this. You have to untick. In the interference with in the skin section untick the use caching to decrease page loading times and also tick reload skin when confirming changes to preferences then you can hit confirm the skin will load again with all the graphics you made Now we can go into the club and see if our graphics have loaded. Go to Boca and as you can see the new files and the new uh, kits are available. I go to another club, Atletico Colón, again Defensa de la Plata. This is a uh, uh, previous. Uh, this is, is this is in in uh, the next season. Uh, this club was uh, not in the Primera División in 2019-20 season, so I don't have the kits for them. Here's Hurricane and all other okay these are the basics how to make a config file it, I probably believe it's not so hard to do it yourself you only have to stick to the rules I gave you uh, you can uh, ask us in our comments for any other tutorial you want uh, related to graphics or to graphics in the football manager and we try to make a video tutorial also for you or also for your needs so don't be shy give us a comment therefore also please give us a subscribe or a like to this video if you liked it uh, you can watch also the other uh, tutorials we made and that's for all. That's all from me and have a great time by playing Football Manager and making graphics to it. Goodbye.